Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and I'm so excited about this necklace I'm gonna be making. I am going to be using some of this amazing paperclip chain from Jesse James Beads. It is, look at the little rainbowish colors. And when I saw all of the these rainbowish colors also on this Midnight Green Color Classics bead strand, I had to use it. And so I didn't know if I wanted to use the big chunky monkeys. I didn't know if I wanted to use these little flat guys, which I still might. I don't know. But then I saw these guys at the end. And just look at those rondelles with that AB finish. And I just thought, oh, that looks incredible. So I don't know if that looks or that. I think I like the dark. I think I like the dark. I'm gonna go with the dark. Then I've pre-cut, so this comes in 12 inch increments and I cut about seven and a quarter inches. And if you look, look how thick, that is just amazing. So then I still have a little bit left over and so I'm gonna use that probably maybe for earrings or, cause if you look, I have um, where I would just cut one off and, um, or I can, I don't know what I can do. I can make them dangles. I don't know. We'll see. But I need to cut this second piece off too. And just in case you don't know, this is Jennifer. And I am so excited about this uh, necklace and getting it put together. It has, I guess, a little bit of a Christmas theme to it. And I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And I'm going to cut this at the end because I can always tack it. And, man, it's tough. Okay. I can always tack it later and um, and still use it. And if it's tacked on the end, it's covered up, right? So I might end up tacking that. All right, so then what else are we gonna need? I have some 18 gauge Beadalon German style wire. I thought I would wire wrap, but since I'm, I, if I was going to be coming back through and wrapping through the beads, I would probably use the 20 gauge and then do wire wraps on the ends. But I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna do simple loops on the end because I don't want, um, I don't want the wire to take over. I want to see these beads and this gorgeous chain. So that's what we're gonna do. Then if you have not picked up these um, findings, these little finding kits from Jesse James Beads, they are amazing. I have silver, I think I have brass, I, have, I don't know if I have gold, maybe rose gold. I can't remember, I got all the colors that they have. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pick out one of these lobster clasps. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a, um, a open jump ring and then also maybe another, maybe this size, we'll use this size jump ring on the other side for it to, um, to attach to. Okay, I think there's, there's, um, maybe crimp beads in there, crimp tubes. Wow, this is amazing. This is incredible. I'll put a link to this in the description, as well as this a gorgeous chain and this beautiful strand. Mm, I just love it. So I am just gonna pick off the end here. And I'm just gonna pick these four guys up. And then, you know what I'm gonna do is I am going to crimp this off, but I'll crimp it off off camera and we can save that. Okay, so now we have those. So what I'm gonna do is, of course, I have a ridiculously long um, strand of this because I pull it off of my large spool. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is nice and straight and I want nice, clean cut on this side. Cover that up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load my beads up first. My bead and my crystal rondelle and my bead. I guess I should have made sure my beads fit, and they do. And my rondelle. 
and my bead and my rondelle and my bead. This is probably going to be the quickest video I've ever done. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my round nose pliers and I'm going to go ahead and go right in the middle there. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of, I guess I should be on camera. Go ahead and give it a little bit of a twist and turn until they meet. They're not meeting yet. They are off a little bit. It's a little. Okay, then what I'm going to do is grab it at the bottom here and just break that off. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring these guys down to the end here. All right, and then I want my loop to be going the same way. So, all right, let's go ahead and I'm going to give it a little bit of a trim after. And I want this to go straight, so it's okay that I have it straight and it's going to be tight because I want it to stay straight. So now, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going, I have my tippy tip and I'm just going to bend this over. Now something to know too is that this is 18 gauge and I have a, I'm going to make a larger loop. So I'm going to, instead of coming down like right at the quarter inch, I'm gonna go out just a little bit more and I'm probably gonna go out maybe like a, a half of an inch. So if I go out, um, there's the quarter and I'm looking at the half. Okay, so where's my half? There it is right there. It's just beyond my finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and go just beyond my finger and give it, I should have cut it. Oh no, that's the right cut. Okay, I was looking for the clean cut and I got it. Then if I am doing this here and it ends up being that it's too long, I can just trim it. And actually this might have worked out just fine. How's that? So if you guys watch my last video, you know I am not a um, simple loop. I'm, I'm not, I don't do simple loops. I usually do um, wrap loops. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get these, the, um, get this connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this opened up. Get this connected on the end and close it up. And this is 18 gauge and so it's not, it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, so now let's go ahead. Oops, you see here it's a little off. So let's go ahead and bring that in just a little bit more. There we go. Now that's centered. That Does that look more centered? That looks more centered. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up and make sure we're grabbing this end and get that closed up. There we go gosh, that's going to be so pretty. And this is going to be short. So we're talking maybe, um, so I did seven and a quarter. So that is 14 and a half. That makes it about 16 and a half. So it's about 17 and a half, maybe, maybe 17 and a quarter. But oh my goodness, I am absolutely loving this. Okay. So now it doesn't matter the right or left, but if I was going to be doing that, I would place my my necklace, so if there was like a front, a pendant hanging, I would do this because most people are right-handed and um, I would go ahead and get that set up that way, but we're not. We're just gonna go ahead and get this. And these are good, thick jump rings, so they are not going anywhere. Get that locked in, make sure fingernail test. Let's go ahead and get this. I'm so excited about this video. For one thing, I just came up with this within a couple of minutes when I was sitting here and um, cleaning things up and I thought, I'm going to do another video. Okay, make sure that fingernail test. That's all good. Oh my goodness. 
I love it, love it, love it. Check out that easy necklace. I will put links to the chain, to the wire, and to the um, to the um, bead strand, and also these incredible, oh, what did I, there they are. These incredible findings from Beetle On. Amazing. So please give this short video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment, I love to read what everybody has to say, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.